Hi friends, welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about what is JUnit test shoot and how to use it in case of JUnit testing. Already in our previous video, we have discussed how to write a test cases by using JUnit as well as in our previous video we have discussed the various type of annotations in JUnit. So in case if you haven't watched that video, the link is available in the description of this video. So please watch it. So now let me write a test case. Uh, for example, you can look at my, uh, I'm using the same uh, code only, uh, which I used in my previous video. You can look at my uh, business logic class. I have a business logic class calculator. So there I have a addition and the subtraction method. So let me make it a subtraction. Right. So now this is my business logic. And for this particular business logic class, I have a test case file in a separate package. The test case file is calculated test. So let me write a test case code for this calculator business logic. I'm going to write a test case for addition method as well as subtraction method. I'm just creating object of calculator class. Get my actual value so by using that calculator object I am invoking a method addition by passing input 10 as well as 20 this is my actual value and expected value is 30. If the input is 10, 20, then the expected value is 30. And we have already familiar in our previous video itself, we have discussed how to compare expected and actual values. I am using a assert equals method compare this expected and actual so finally i have written my test case for addition the same way i will write a test case code for my subtraction also so let me change the method name as subtraction and if the input is 10 20 then the expected subtracted value will be 10 so now my calculator test case is over. So just to verify this test case, I'm running this calculator test. Run as JUnit test. So these things already we have discussed in our previous video. Yeah, now both the test cases are executing successfully addition as well as subtraction so finally i have a business logic class calculator and i have written and i have verified my uh, test case for calculator so let me create one more business logic and one more test case file so that easily you can understand what should be the real usage of j unit test shoot so let me create one simple business logic class inside the same business logic package. Let me name it as factorial. So factorial is my business logic class and in that class I am going to define one method let it be get factorial with one argument. and I'm going to write my factorial logic. A 
for the given number. So we are already familiar about factorial logic. And I'm returning the factorial value. Finally, my second business logic class is also ready. So now I want to write a test case for this factorial business logic class. So as usual, already we have discussed these steps in the previous video itself. I will be right clicking on the factorial class. I will say new and I will say I want to create a J unit test case. So here I have to browse my package. Yes, I want to group all my test case file in a separate package called com.balan.test and I will click next and I will say that I want to write a test case for get factorial method. So I will be selecting that method and then click finish. So these things uh, may be like a recap for you. We have already we have discussed in our previous video itself. So now this is a test case. So now as usual, I need to get actual value and the expected value. To get the actual value, I have to call factorial business logic method. So I'm just creating object of factorial. And with the help of that object, I'm calling get factorial method by passing an input 5. If the input is 5, then the expected factorial value will be 120. And I'm comparing by using as usual our assert equals method. Now my factorial test case is also ready. Now let me run this test case to verify my output. Yes, so this is also fine. So finally, you can look at my uh, project. I have two test case file, calculated test and factorial test. Same way, in real time, application may come with a number of business logic class. So right now I have only one, only two test case file. Yes, it's a, just a simple program. But if you consider the real time application, the real time application will come with n number of business logic class. And there will be n number of test case file. So let me assume that I have a thousand or a hundred uh, test case files for a single application. Just assume that I have a thousand or hundred uh, test case file for a single application. If I want to test the complete application, if I want to test the complete application, I have to run these thousand test case files one by one. So please understand uh, friends. Just assume that I have a business uh, logic application, which is, I mean, the complete application is having almost thousand class. So which means I may come with 1000 or 1000 plus test case files. So finally, if I want to test the complete application, I have to execute each test case files one by one, which means 1000 plus times I have to execute. I hope you are able to get some idea what is, what will be the usage of J unit test shoot. So finally, this is little uh, uh, challenging one. Right friends? Yes, I have to execute all the test case file one by one. So instead of that, if I, am, if I have something called uh, or if I get, uh, you know, in Windows, we have a uh, batch file. Right? So the in Windows, we have a batch file. So in that batch file, what we will do, we will group all the commands in a single file. I mean the uh, DOS OS command. 
right so finally by executing that single batch file i can execute a number of commands so instead of executing the commands one by one i will group all the files in a single unit that i will call this uh, batch file i mean batch file is nothing but it's a collection of uh, a number of dos commands so that by executing that single file i can execute all the commands the same thing will come to j unit so that will call us test shoot so finally test shoot is a single file in that single file i am going to group all the test case files so finally by using that uh, test uh, by uh, executing that uh, test shoot file i can execute all the test cases so which mean i no need to execute the test files one by one instead of executing the test files one by one i can make a simple test shoot class there i will list out what are the test case files i want to execute so finally ultimately i will be executing only one test shoot file internally it is executing all the test case files so that we are going to do now so now let me create one test shoot file actually it's a just a normal class only you can make a normal java class let me name it as all test you can give any name for example i'm giving a name as all test so now in this all test file i'm not going to write any test cases yes already i have a test case for calculator i have a test case for factorial so here i have to specify what are the test case file i want to group together right so first of all to specify that first of all i have to enable test shoot for this particular class yes now it's just a normal java class just a normal uh, java class so first of all i have to enable my test shoot for that we have a separate annotation called run with and here i will be saying that i am going to enable the shoot functionalities this is the very first step so finally by using this annotation i am making this class as shoot class so my first one is over second one once i enable shoot functionality for this class the second one is i have to list out what are the what are the test case files i am going to combine so for that we have another annotation shoot dot shoot classes so here i will be listing out all my test case classes i can list out a number of classes but right now i have only two i'm just going to include only that two so calculator test dot class comma the second one is factorial so like this you can include n number of test test case files inside the shoot class so by me finally by executing the single test case file i can execute calculated test factorial test etc so this is nothing but test shoot so finally very simple word is test shoot is a collection of test case files so why should i go for test shoot so that by using single test case file i can or in a single shot i can execute n number of test case files so in real time very frequently we will be going for test shoot yes in real time definitely it will be multiple test case file so we cannot sit and execute uh, all the files one by one so instead of that i will put it in a shoot class so that i by using single shot i can execute all the test cases it's similar to your batch files in windows 
so now let me verify our output so right now you can see i am going to execute my all test case file but you can look at my class it's a empty class there is no test cases we have already have written all my test cases in these two classes let me run this test case file i will say run as j unit test you can look at my output how many test cases it's running it is running three test cases so what is that uh, test case file all test so inside this all test i have two separate test case file calculated test and factorial test and under calculator test it is running two test cases test addition and test subtraction the same way under factorial it is running one test case nothing but test get factorial so hope friends we are clear about what is test shoot in j unit and how to use this test shoot in a application thanks friends for watching this video so if you like this video so please subscribe and click on the bell icon so that as soon as i upload the new video you will be getting the notification also you can share it with your friends